borrowing billions. More Americans are putting everyday purchases on their credit cards as inflation continues to grow. Quasity News Chief Business Correspondent Taylor Young explains tonight how this is causing millions to fall into a growing pile of debt. Thank you. Creeping prices. Uh, rent's, rent's ridiculous. Can be felt in nearly every sector of the economy. Commuting back and forth from home to work. From the grocery store to the pump and even other family members. So I have two sons that I'm helping. They're in their 50s and I'm helping them. Inflation now impacting how Americans are paying for these purchases by credit card. Because these are things that we have to spend our money on. We can't not buy food. We can't not buy gas to get back and forth to work. Between April and June, credit card balances increased by $46 billion, a near 6% jump compared to early 2022. It's so exciting when you qualify for a new card or when you get that pre-approval in the mail, right? But what a lot of people wasn't paying attention to was the interest rate associated with these cards. As an accredited financial educator, Marquia Brown has seen more clients needing help handling their debt. It's more so with people who are like, I'm in a bind and I have no idea what to do. In an attempt to fight inflation, the Federal Reserve has raised interest rates four times this year. The move, while having no major impact on prices, is costing those already in debt more money to get out of it. It hits the pocket pretty hard. I mean, I'm a big guy. I like to eat too, but <laughs> but I say that it's, um, it's definitely a a hit in the pocket both ways. The average credit card interest rate in the U.S. is nearing 18 percent. Reporting in Charlotte, Taylor Young, Queen City News. Taylor, thank you for that.